What's going on everyone? Charlie here again. Got the next one ready for you. This one is also out of NYSE ARCA, which is an options exchange. Now we have a proposed rule to change or to amend the rules 6.4-0 to limit short-term option series intervals. Now the purpose of this, and this excludes ETFs unfortunately, but the exchange proposes to amend rule 6.40, which is titled series of options open for trading. And specifically, they seek to widen the intervals between strikes in order to limit the number of strikes listed for multiply listed equity options classes, excluding options on ETFs, unfortunately. Within the uh, short term option series, which is um, strikes that have expiration dates more than 21 days from the listing date. So again, this is to address problems like what we see with these out of the money puts that are scheduled like two years out. Um, the current rule, um, after a particular class of options has been approved for listing on the exchange to open for trading series of options therein, the exchange may list a series of options for trading on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. Rule 6.4-0A sets forth the intervals between strike prices of series of options on individually stocks generally, and Rule 6.4-0 Commentary specifically sets forth intervals between strikes uh, set on the short-term option series, which again is expiration dates that are 21 days or more from the current day. Additionally, the exchange may list series of options pursuant to the $1 strike price interval program, the 50 cent strike program, the 250 strike price program, and the $5 strike price program. So those are all different programs of options that you can uh, you can find on the market. Those will be some that are 50 cents apart, $1 apart, $250 apart, and $5 apart, depending on what price they're currently at. The exchange notes that this proposal is substantially identical to the strike interval proposed recently submitted by NASDAQ BX and approved by the SEC. Now I did cover the NASDAQ BX. Uh, this was, I think it was like a month and a half ago. They filed a very similar filing to this, but I'm just giving a refresher on what this is all about. Now the changes basically, they're going to remove repetitive and unnecessary strike listings across the weekly expires or expiries. Specifically, the proposal seeks to reduce the number of strikes listed in the furthest weeklies, which generally have wider markets and therefore a lower market quality. So we're going to use uh, GameStop January 22 puts for an example. Uh, we have 134,000 contracts open open interest, which has got to be FTD puts uh, at the $0.5 strike price. So hopefully this will be ready to go and we'll see some changes there. I don't know what would happen since they're already out there. Uh, I don't know if they can actually like remove them or anything, but uh, it will limit this in the future, I believe, as far as the ARCA exchange. In essence... All we're looking to do here is uh, reduce the number of strikes listed on the ARCA exchange to prevent better market quality in the options uh, venue. And uh, with an, it says right here, with an increasing number of strikes due in part to tighter intervals being listed across option exchanges, market makers must expend their capital to ensure that they have the appropriate infrastructure to meet their quoting obligations on all options markets in which they are assigned in options classes. In other words, stop wasting capital hiding your FTDs on a stock you made a bad bet on a year out in the in the future in the form of puts, UPOS. Help market makers expend their capital more efficiently to promote fair and free trade. This proposal is intended to remove certain strikes where, the, where there exist clusters of strikes whose characteristics closely resemble one another. In essence, here to make the options chain a little bit more efficient and to stop this crap from happening. So, to the moon, and don't forget, this video is available in over 18 different languages, so uh, keep that in mind, and uh, thanks for watching. I think I have one more to go over, and then I will be done for the day as far as uh, new filings to talk about. So I will reach out in a minute when I get that done, y'all have a good one.